something about this feels kind of creepy. There is not a soul in this part of the convention center. And uh, I don't know. I'm not talking very loud and I can hear my voice echoing. That's a little weird. I decided to go exploring and this is, I don't regret it, this is fun. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, maybe for the last time, I'm not 100% sure, to VGC Regulation E, where this past weekend, I went to the San Antonio Regional Championships in San Antonio, Texas. I know, crazy, right? Um, and I played in day one. I didn't make day two. I went with a record of six wins and three losses. But um, I had really good tiebreakers. Um, I played against Ragov, uh, the person who came in second place in round number eight of day one. And they kept me from making day two. I'm going to be adamant about that. I feel like if I had gotten paired into anybody else, I probably could have made day two. But instead, I got up paired. But that's okay. We did good. I'm proud of 61st place. We get 50 CP. Um, we get our, our our team and my name and a link to my Twitter featured on Victory Road VGC, like the results page. That's pretty cool. Um, but today, we're going to use the team that I used at the regional. There will be a paste down in the description. This is the rental. Basically, the team that I ran is Psy Spam with Reggie Drago Tail Room featuring Urshifu and King Gambit. Instead of running Tornadus, I decided to run Murkrow. I didn't want to be like in danger of being taunted by opposing Tornadus. Um, and it gets Snarl, and that's kind of why I put on the team, and Haze, which are all like very good tools that help us deal with some things that maybe we're not super good into. Um, but yeah, the basic idea of this team here is we, nine times out of ten, we're going to lead Regi Drago plus either Indeedee or Murkrow, and we're going to either set up our Tailwind or our Trick Room, and we're just going to go off with Regi Drago, and then Arm Rouge comes in and cleans up. Or we can lead Urshifu into things that maybe Regidrago is not super good into. Same thing with King Gambit. It's really good into the Psy Spam Mirror, as is Snarl Murkrow. Um, and then King Gambit just helps us deal with some things that maybe Regidrago and Armor Rouge are not good into. It's not a super crazy team. I don't have a super in-depth team analysis for you. I just kind of made a team that I felt comfortable with, and that's what I brought to the tournament. And you know, sometimes the best team is the team that you are comfortable playing. Um, without further ado, let's try to jump into... Uh, some battles here. Hopefully we can get some good ones. As always, everybody, if you enjoy this video, leave me a big fat like, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about Murkrow and all of that stuff. But yeah, hopefully we can get some good games here. Hopefully I don't just hit, like, an auto-loss matchup on the first battle, because that would be kind of embarrassing. Um, this team is pretty weak to, like, really strong fairy types. Um... Two of my losses were to Clefairies, and one of my losses was to a Sylveon. I just couldn't get around them. Fluttermane's not too hard to get around, but, like, big bulky fairy types, I just, it's really hard to, like, do enough damage to them to get them off the field before they start to, like, ruin my day. Um, you know, this doesn't look so bad. I think we're pretty safe here to just go for Indeedee Regidrago. Um, and then I'm just gonna bring Armor Rouge Urshifu in the back. I think that's fine. <clears throat> Okie dogie doesn't get like um it doesn't get fake out, so we're not really in any danger. Not that we would be because we got the psychic terrain going on. There was a lot of Reggie Drago at the regional, to be honest. Like this was kind of the Reggie Drago regional. Which is wild because I didn't know like a bunch of other people were gonna bring Reggie Drago. I don't have like a team building group or anything. Okay. Interesting. This is kind of not what I was expecting to see on this first turn here. Um, <clears throat> let me think for a second. I want to say probably it's pretty safe for me to just go for the Trick Room here. Unless this is Taunt Landorus Incarnate, which would be... Which would suck, but I can't really do a whole lot about that. Let's just set Trick Room up and protect this turn. I feel like they probably can't knock Indeedee out. Tailwind? Why are you clicking Tailwind? Oh, well, we're super duper fine. Who cares? <laughs> <clears throat> that doesn't even have, like, close to a chance of KOing anything. What? 
What did they think was gonna happen? Did they think I was Scarf? Like, I don't know. Um, what's the good move here? Probably... Dragon Energy should just KO. I'm gonna go ahead and just switch in Armor Rouge and go for the Dragon Energy. It should just KO both of these Pokemon. Unless something is like Focus Sash. Maybe Assault Vest Landorus eats this, I'm not really sure. Didn't see a single Landorus um, Therian the whole weekend, so... Oh yeah, we just take the KOs, who cares? <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, I had, I had a lot of fun with this team. I had a lot of fun this weekend. I'm really glad to like meet a bunch of people that I hadn't met before. And People asked to take pictures of me, which was kind of like surreal, to be honest. You know what I mean? Chien Pao, okay. And Ogre Pond. Oh, well, well, um, I don't think, I think we might just win in two turns here unless they double protect this turn. I'm going to go for the, uh. Armor Cannon is safer, I guess, technically. In case they, like, decide to tear a ghost for no reason. It does look like they're probably just gonna double protect. Why is that Ogre Pond so small? I feel like Ogre Pond's usually bigger. They didn't double protect, but they they did at least prolong the game one extra turn. <clears throat> Goodbye, Chan Pao. See you later. They're like... They're like weed whacking outside or something? You probably can't hear it because I think I have like a, like a noise filter on, but... It's pretty loud to me. Oh, they just give up. Two turns, a win. Yay! Yay, go Andrew, yay! My wife's here. She's contributing. <clears throat> let's get let's get two more. That was a quick and easy battle, like honestly. Oh, it's not on random. Come on, I want random. Where's random? There we go. We got it just in time. Um, well <clears throat> let's see. To you, Fluttermane is pretty darn scary. Um I think what I'm going to do is just go for this lead, and then we'll bring some things. I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go Drago King Gambit in the back. This is kind of a weird matchup for me, because if they go like Trick Room on lead, we're kind of not in a great position, but I feel like they might just lead Chiyu Flutterman, so that's what I have to lead for here. But also, they have the Water Ogre Pond to just kind of, like, destroy me if if that is what they lead. They can, like, switch in and potentially eat a hit. Oh, they just straight up lead the Ogre Pond? That's so interesting. Huh. Alright, so this Ogre Pond definitely has Follow Me, right? And it's Booster Energy Speed? Okay, that's actually pretty good for me. I'm gonna go ahead and just... Hmm. I kinda wanna just click Snarl and you turn out. See where that gets us. <clears throat> I guess if I lose Urshifu, it might be okay, but, you know. Ogre Pond just straight up switches. Okay. Into Chiyu? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. They're really playing the mind games here. Um, I don't actually... I think I just lose, straight up lose both of my Pokemon here. Man, best of ones on the ladder ain't it sometimes, bro. Oh, Moonblast. Okay. Into Urshifu. Yeah. 
Fire, Shifu. I'm sorry. I really tried my best. <clears throat> Alright, we get the Snarl off, so we break Potential Focus Sash, if there is one, which is nice. Leftovers Chiyu. Uh, okay. Okay? I guess? Hmm. Hmm. I could either... I could do a lot of things here. Um... I think I'm gonna get Gambit in. I'm gonna just go for the Terra Water Terra Blast, I guess? I'm gonna go ahead and rain dance here. And then let's just do this. See if we can't get rid of this Chiyu. Cause the Fluttermane, I guess, technically could switch out, but I feel like they're probably just gonna like Moonblast Murkrow and Heat Wave. Or maybe they'll double King Gambit, I don't know. <clears throat> That turn one really, really didn't go the way that I thought it was going to go. I got to be really honest with y'all. Yeah, there's the Moonblast into Hoomst. Into the Murkrow. All right, well, we had a good run, Murkrow. I'm sorry. You did your best. <laughs> um, but this Heat Wave at least is going to do, like, negligible damage. Yeah, no burn, please. Oh, they got a crit, though. All right. We're somewhere now. We have Terra Water, Terra Blast. It's going to do big damage. We could get Rigid Drago in next turn. We know that the Fluttermane's not Sash, so... What? Oh, but what if they follow me? Then I'm kind of up shit creek without a paddle. Hmm... Alright, I think I eat one Moonblast. Maybe? So let's try this. Yep. Flutterman is so good, guys. Like... Wow! Okay! Why? Are you just gonna crit every turn? You can't just crit me every turn, man. That's still not fair. Jeez Louise! Also, who's running Woodhammer Ogre? Oh my gosh. And they crit me again? What the heck? Wow, I am so disappointed. How did that go exactly as bad as it possibly could have gone? That's actually insane. Okay. Um... I think... I think we just lead in DD Armor Rouge and we kind of just win? Question mark? What do they really do about that, you know? Yeah, I think we straight up just lead in DD Armor Rouge and there's nothing they can do about it. Man, they are taking their sweet time to pick a move. Or to pick their Pokemon. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what the lead is. I really feel like Indini Armor Rouge is like pretty darn safe, but... Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. The new TMs are legal on the ladder right now. This is probably expanding Force Hatterene. Um, it doesn't really ever, like, do a lot of damage to Armor Rouge, though. This is not the lead I was expecting. In fact, I'm kind of disappointed because I was really ready to go off. Um, let me think. I think... Hmm...
Hmm. I think I'm just going to do this. I feel like this is fi like a fine play. It's not great, but we'll do a bunch of damage at least. I kind of just don't want... I mean, if they set up Trick Room, I think it's probably whatever. No follow me or anything out of this turn is kind of surprising to me, honestly. Skill swap? Oh, for the Torque Hole in the back? Um, I guess? Okay. Interesting. That is, in fact, a play you can make, but I didn't set up Trick Room either. And actually, another Expanding Force just knocks out your Hatterene. So... So what? Hmm... What do I think they're gonna do? I think this indeed is gonna click Trick Room, if it has it, right? So let's do this. <clears throat> no Protects coming out. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so dumb. Okay. Well. No Trick Rooms. Oops. I forgot that they just... They literally just took Flash Fire from me. Oops. Oops. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Well... Well, what? What do we do? This Hatterene's taking a lot of damage from things. What if I just... Hmm... I think I have to just do this. I really don't like that play. I really don't like how awkward this matchup is right now, to be honest. Alright, well, as long as their Indeedy doesn't click Trick Room, I feel great. But if the Indeedy clicks Trick Room, we're actually in a pretty bad spot. I think the Ndidi clicked Trick Room. Oh no, great. Great, okay, alright. Perfect. We shouldn't have any problems finishing up the rest of this match. Hopefully. What a what an awkward game this was. Hatterene... Well, it's a bulky fairy type, so that Hatterene makes this super awkward. Okay, yeah, Torco comes in. Torkoal does not eat um, anything. Am I certain that a Dragon Energy KOs the Indeed? I'm not. Um, mm. <sighs> this is scary. Um, yeah, I guess we have to double the Indeed slot just in case. Uh, Torkoal might eat it. Oh, no. No Terra, so I feel pretty good. Also, oh, well, the Dragon Energy actually just takes two KOs. Rage Drago's so good. Rage Drago is still goaded. It's fine. <laughs> as long as Rage Drago's here to clean up the mess, it's fine. And then the last one less that left is Ursaluna, and what is Ursaluna going to do right now? Like, nothing. Uh, well, actually, if Dragon Energy doesn't KO, this could be really bad. But I feel like they're not going to knock out King Gambit with just one Earthquake, so we should be okay. Um, I think Dragon Energy is still the strongest move I can click. We're Terrastalizing. Yo, don't be Terra Fairy, Ursaluna. I'll cry. Okay, it's Terra Ghost. We're good. Everything's good. Everything's hunky-dory. Terrestrialize for why, though? I feel like you have no reason to Terra here. <laughs> mm 
Just cuz? I don't know. But I'll take it. Alright. That's the video, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Hopefully, it was a good video to you. If it was, remember, you know, like, comment. Tell me what you think about the team. Just, like, congratulate me or something. I don't know. Just comment something down there. Um, and if you're all the way here at the end of the video and you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. What are you doing? It's like it's like a 30-ish minute video. Like, just just subscribe. Be a be an Andy LaFan today. And with that, everybody, my name is Andrew. I'll catch you guys next time. Footer main, footer main, footer main, footer main, footer main, footer main, footer main. Making big reads in my footer brain. EV's giving me footer gains. Play it on rain, call a footer rain. Get what you you run a footer train. Boss so smooth like a butter main. Footer main, footer main, footer main. Footer main, footer main, footer main, footer main, footer main, footer main, footer main. Making big reads in my footer brain. EV's giving me footer gains. Play it on rain, call a